morning. Nice to see you guys, gals. Um, start with the meeting summary from July. Did anyone have any comments or edits for that? Nope. Okay. Um, all right, then moving on to the event schedule. There's not uh, much to talk about there other than um, Yorktown, York County is still planning on having that Go Green Market event using the trailer. Um, I guess that's an outdoor, socially distant type of venue. So we are planning on having the trailer there. Um, I just talked with Suffolk today about getting um, our a locksmith out there. Our building guy wasn't able to get out there the other day. So we're going to get a locksmith out there next week to just spruce up the locks on the trailer and then we'll be heading I'll coordinate with you, Cindy, about um, probably just in advance of that event. Go ahead and um, have you guys, we can come pick it up, do a quick, I think we need to do like a walkthrough inspection just to have that on file. Um, and then probably go to the trailer storage, I mean the storage area where we keep all of the supplies and make sure it's well stocked. Um, and then it would probably work out best just for you all to then take it right to Yorktown from there. And then once that event is over, pick it up and just bring it back to wherever you'll be storing it. Um, so uh, I'll just coordinate with you and the contact you provided, um, you know, in the next week or so, just leading up to that event on the 12th. Um, unless we hear that it's canceled between now and then, but so far as of a a week or two ago, I think it was still on. So, um, I haven't heard much more about the Lynn Haven River Now Fall Festival. I don't know, Laura, have you heard anything about that in Virginia Beach? Is that still planned to happen? I haven't heard anything about it. I have a friend that works there. I can ask. Um, yeah, Helen Coon normally um, sits in on our stormwater meetings, but she's missed the last you so mm -hmm. that one again is I think at Mount Trashmore and maybe they still will do it but um, anyway that's it for events for right now and the rest is um, happening as we know until or unless we receive different information we'll just keep it on the calendar and um, go from there um, moving on to media campaigns. So we have to talk about the Imagine Day Without Water promotion coming up for October. And along with the agenda, we sent out the um, new creative for that campaign. So um, that's based on our discussion last time about doing um, this thank you video for essential workers. Um, and you know, we communicated that back to Red Chalk um, so their plan is to um, um, get some content from you all. So that's going to take um, some effort on your part if you're able to help us out with that. But basically, their concept is like a love letter to essential water workers. Um, so the video would highlight um, the necessity of reliable water for our community, highlighting some of our own essential workers. Um, and then it would be static images, some 2D motion graphics, and um, some background music along with, um, you know, the text. The call to action is raise a glass of water and say a mental thank you to our essential water workers every time we drink a glass of water, wash your hands, take a shower, et cetera, and share a video toast online. And then the idea is that we would do some of these internally to like seed that. Um, to push out on social media. Um, yeah, so we had, I think, discussed about like maybe having people like put a water drop in their window and trying to do a viral campaign. I think that's something you all wanted to do, you know, organically you could also do that. But in terms of like having a, having it as part of this video, um, their thought is that, you know, doing the virtual toast would be a little more immediate than uh, for people to see versus 
having them post something in their home for only people in the neighborhood to see. Um, and then the hashtag idea they came up with is love our water workers, which that is up for debate as well if you all have other ideas. Um, so they would be asking for photos and videos of workers. Um, they included like stormwater system. We would, wouldn't probably include um, those folks necessarily, but you know, water and wastewater um, utility workers would be good to have photos and videos of them. We would want them obviously from multiple jurisdictions. Um, we would want different job positions, um, certainly um, different demographic backgrounds, and we would want to include their names and titles and um, number of years employment to like feature on there. Um, so that is the concept. What do you all think? And I, th <clears throat> I feel like <clears throat> I have to unmute. I have to, I think we could certainly provide you some pictures. I don't know about the videos, but some pictures of uh, our people at work. Um, I could put out the call for it and see, see what we can get. You probably would want how many? About uh, two, three, or what? Three or four? I would say, like, maybe if we tasked you all with like five each, that might give us enough to, um, you know, that'd be 25. I mean, of course, Cindy, you all cover multiple jurisdictions, but, um, you know, if we could aim for five each, I think that would be a good number to have. Um, if there are, in one way to approach it could be if you could find out about some projects going on mm -hmm. like you know and where they are and when people will be there working um we could go and take if it you know obviously you'd have to get approval but go and take some sh like really quick video just to show some you know people working in the field and maybe have them turn around and just wave or something uh, i think that would just be nice to have um to you know, certainly mix video and the still graphics. Mm -hmm. um, that's just my thought, and we could, you know, figure out how best to do that. I don't mind going out and trying to grab some quick video if there's someone in Chesapeake, Jerry, where I could go, or somewhere close, you know, not too far away. That right. that would be fine. But um, so I got extra lucky on this project. My the city had just completed this morning and, and released. Um, an appreciation video just on the on our waterworks so i'll send that to you guys afterwards and um i try to get the raw footage just to share with you katie for this project but i didn't know we have a policy where they won't share their raw footage they'll only share the the finished product so hopefully i don't know no video production but hopefully from the finished product you can use that video on how you see fit and it includes our water chemist the water plant, and then our wastewater and our water distribution crews. So I have some still photos for you too. So those, those two projects just overlap, but um, so Norfolk's covered for once. That's wonderful, right? Great. Yeah, it came out really good and I'm, I was just, it looks really good and you just made me feel good for my team. So um, we're gonna get that on social hopefully today and I'll share those links with you guys as well and, and feel free to use however you see fit. So is that, just going to be done social media through the city. Um, is it going to be on like your cable station or how will that be used? Yeah, I'm actually connecting with my um, liaison today to figure out what else they're going to be doing with it. The first piece was that it went into our residential newsletter. So that was distributed today. Um, and so I'm going to touch base with them today to see how else they plan on uh, pushing that out. Um, any other thoughts? So I guess we'll have to take a look at that, Rachel, and see if, um, I mean, if they can provide it in like in the right format. I don't know if that's MP4. Um, um, maybe they can pull something from it, but it may depend too, like, I don't know if there's gonna if there's like on screen graphics the whole time um, that might make it difficult because if they can't have the footage to remove the graphic you know like do it without yeah. the graphics it's not gonna work with like.
the graphic treatment of our video necessarily. So, I mean, we'll just, uh, I'll be interested to see it when you send it and see what they could do. Um, so you already asked about getting footage and they've told you no. Yeah, they just have a policy that they don't share any of the raw data with any outside group. Um, and I even advocated that this is a partner of ours because I really wanted it because it was the first video. I wanted the footage. I, I wasn't even able to um, have a copy of the raw footage. So just the policy they have. Um, but I got what I got. I think it looks good. And hopefully we can use it for this as well. If not, would you be open to helping us get some additional um, something from Norfolk folks, you know, whether it's still images or grab some video? Yeah, so when they were shooting this, I actually, I was present for one of the sessions and another team member was, so we both got still lives for knowing this project. Okay. So, um, I don't know how you all, I mean, how do you feel about this in general? Is this still, is this on target with what you were hoping to have from, from our last conversation, um, this type of video? I do like the raise a glass of water, like, you know, like a toast, um, just because of the water play. I think that's a nice way to like make a unique tribute instead of just like, thanks, you know? <laughs> um, so, well, Katie, the, the employees are stressed. I mean, our, our employees are very stressed and there's been sort of an ongoing discussion about the uh, care funds and extra um, incentive, not incentive, but thank yous for you know, essential workers. And we consider utilities an essential worker. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is, this would be a great thing, and we could ha get our um, television stations to put it on, and because uh, they are always looking for stuff, um, and we could do the social media stuff too. I I can't do it, but you know our public communications people can do it, and they they want stuff like that. So I think it's a very good idea. I see heads nodding, so I know that others mm -hmm. know the, the situation with their their people. I was just reading this morning an email from one of our distribution, uh, the water distribution group, and they were out last night between a, a nine, no, 11 o'clock to five o'clock this morning making a repair. You know, they're trying not to <laughs> to be out there cut with people's water off, and it was like 25 homes and four fire hydrants and things like that. So. They're out there in the middle of the night trying to make a repair and you know, people don't know it. <laughs> right. Hey, Laura, how has Virginia Beach been? Good. <laughs> um, I know that I wasn't here for last week's meeting, but I think this, or last month's meeting, but I think this video is a good idea and would be a good morale boost <laughs> for sure. Um, and I can go out and take some video. So with the video, we just want, um, we don't want them like talking to the camera or anything. It's videos of them doing their job. Is that right? Yeah, I would say um, doing their jobs and I'd maybe also just get them to wave at the camera, smile yeah. at the camera, like also do that. So, um, cause I think it would be nice to show a mix of um, their faces as well as them in action. Um, and we would want their face, you know, along with their name and title and how long they've been, you know, been there to give them recognition in the video too, you know? So mm -hmm. yeah, definitely want people in action as well as, um, you know, I would do a still while you have them there. Yeah. So just a video and you want to make sure if you're doing on your phone that you do it landscape, mm -hmm. you know, not portrait. Um, so we want everyone to be the same aspect ratio. And that would just make it easier for them editing. Um, yeah, so I mean, if some of you can do that, I mean, September 10th would be the date we would need to have um, everything into Red Chalk in order to let them get into the production mode to meet our, our timeline for October. So I would even bump that up a little earlier just to make sure 
that we have. Um, so what is what day is September 10th? It is a Thursday. So maybe like by the 8th, everyone have what they have in and make sure that it's enough for Red Chalk to do what they need to do. And if not, then we have a couple of days to scramble and try and get something else together. Um, yeah, so I mean, again, if anyone needs help, like if you don't have like a really, you know, a great phone for video, um, just let, uh, let us know. We can work something out to, to, you know, meet out somewhere and get some video. I don't mind doing that at all. I have one question. What about, uh, so you don't want group photos? Groups would be good too. How would you do all their names and titles and years of service? You just skip those um, people? Probably wouldn't for them. You might just say like such and such, like wastewater division or, you know, I don't know, you just like whatever okay. project team they're on. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I would say the group would be good too. I mean, it'd be nice to just have a mix. Okay. I've got tons of those pictures, but I don't have, I have very few individual photos. Yeah. Um, so again, we, we're going to want, you know, like if you can grab some of your customer service folks too, you know, they, they're working still around the clock, helping folks, um, probably more so than in the past. And, um, you know, just a variety of positions. So you know what those are, obviously. Um, all right. What about the hashtag? Do you like that love our water workers or um, any other creative ideas for that? It's a little long, um, but I don't have any, a lot of other ideas like water love, uh, something shorter. I don't know. Love an essential worker. Um, yes, it's That's just longer. <laughs> This is <laughs> I mean, I like that it's specific, you know, it's a water worker, so it's not going to be, you know, confused or lumped in with other essential personnel types of hashtags that are out there. Well, if you have any creative ideas in the next like week or two with hashtags, some of our, especially like Laura, your generation is really good with hashtagging. So <laughs> let me know what you think about, um, and Rachel. <laughs> um, so it sounds like we're good on this and we'll work to get the stuff in. Um, we can probably just set up a Dropbox folder for Red Chalk and send that out so you all can upload whatever you have right there. So um, we'll get that set up. And I mean, the sooner the better, especially if you have things already at your fingertips and that will help us kind of decipher like what we need more of. Um, but I would say, yeah, if you can just, if everyone can get at least five um, clips from your, you know, from your utilities, look who it is. <laughs> good morning. Um, then we'll be in good shape. So we'll, um, we'll keep moving on that. Let's see. So I think we'll also, oh, one other thing to talk about. Um, and Rachel had brought this up in email, and I think it's a good idea. Um, she wanted to put together some posters to like put in the in different office areas um, with kind of the same kind of messaging. So I thought we would just ask um, Red Chalk to um, to set that up for us, like once they have, you know, to use the same graphic treatment as this video. So if it's like with a hashtag and raise a glass or something like to, to include like a poster design 
Um, and then you all could like swap out like an image if you want to put your own people in it or something, but um, just to do a poster design template to go along with this. Um, does that sound like something you all would like to have, excuse me, to have an addition for this campaign? Okay. Um, you don't, you, Chesapeake doesn't have that many public places. Uh, we have a customer service uh, area, uh, but even that is still fairly limited in um, action. So well, this could even just be in just staff only areas. Like yeah, that's all areas. What we could have. Yeah, would be staff. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is kind of skipping down to the next item too, but um, we wanted to see if you all wanted to do any type of special giveaway again um, with Imagine Day Without Water. Um, on social media, like another hydro flask giveaway, maybe Yeti cups this time, like some kind of other nice valuable item that we could do with social media to help when this video is ready, when we post it, it might help boost the response that we get, especially if we're asking people to like send their own videos in like, or maybe that could be the contest, like show us your toast to that, show us how you love your water workers in the comments below to win a Yeti cup or something like that. What do you all think? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I love that. So I was also, I don't know if this is possible, but we've never done anything with like employees and we're always starving for crew photos. What if we did a social media and I don't, I'm just saying this out loud. I have no idea each city's social media policy and, but um, like employee advocacy, having crew members post their favorite crew photo too and maybe we could have a separate prize for them um i know they prefer a cash prize or maybe a lunch for a crew i don't know what our budget is but um just throwing it out there i'm not sure the logistics on that like it makes me a little nervous because i'd want to see their photos first to make sure that all like osha standards and safety practices were properly displayed in uniforms but at the same time i'm trying to widen a little bit of um employees engaging on social media um, in their own voices because they're oftentimes positive. So just some food for thought. I don't know how everybody feels about that. I think that could be a really cool internal way to, you know, further the promotion. If you do that internally, um, then you don't have to worry about um, those public postings of things that might not be, it's only like construction sites. <laughs> you don't want them posting things that if they're not following all protocols to the T, but um, I mean, and we could, if you, if you all want to do that, like collectively, then we would, you know, I don't know about the cash prize or something, but whatever the prizes we're doing for the public, we could, um, I don't know, I don't know how we would, facilitate that. I mean, I guess we'd have to include everyone who wants to do it if you want to do it as a group budget item to purchase a $20 gift card or something like that. Like, so it could be for lunch somewhere or also, what do you think the gift? I'd have to run, I'd have to run that idea by our folks because the the city's very cautious about monetary uh, gifts and even about days off or anything like that. So, but I could, you know, it might, it might be okay, but HR rules the world. Did you know that? <laughs> um, well, I mean, I guess we have some time to think through that more if you want to do it either just locally, Rachel, that sounds like a great permission or some other, you know, maybe there it's a internal like recognition, like, like Newport News Waterworks did kind of, what was this? Um, I guess when we were doing the H2O drive where people could nominate someone, they would like pay a dollar for a water drop and write someone's name on it as like a recognition thing. Um, and then that money went to, um, here went to the yeah h2o program um you could maybe do it as like an internal like staff like raffle 
And, you know, maybe everyone, you can nominate an employee, like an employee recognition thing for like a dollar. And then at the end of the period, you know, it all goes into a hat and one person wins the pot, you know, the, the, pot, the total pot. I don't know. Maybe that would go over better since it's employee contributions versus local money being used to fund it. Um, for the public giveaway, what do you think would be, I mean, we've done the Hydro Flasks a few times. I think they are popular. They're probably a little more popular with the younger crowd or I guess people who maybe have younger like kids that might be into them. Um, I feel like the Yeti cups um, are popular with my generation and a little older maybe. Um, but either one, they're about the same price. They're ridiculously overpriced. Um, but I'm just wondering if the Yeti cup is more like a, a standard cup versus a water bottle that you would like toast with, you know, versus the way the Hydro Flask looks. I just have, I guess having this screw off top, getting all these, sorry, these text messages from these people um, at these moms at my son's school. And I feel like I have to read them afterwards, but I feel like today was the first day of school and I didn't send Carson. <laughs> He's supposed to go on Monday, but now I'm like looking at like, why are they sending these texts? Did I forget to send him to school today? But <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> mom fail. Um, do you have a preference, Yeti cup versus Hydro Flask? And do you want to just do one or multiple? Talking about the Yeti tumblers, the ones that, I don't know how to describe them, bigger. Yeah, yeah they're like this. I don't, you can't do this. In. Mm -hmm. And they kind of like curve up. <laughs> kind of like this size, a little bare with like mm -hmm. a, you know, a top that you can do coffee, like hot stuff. Yeah. Have the slide lid or cold stuff. Yeah, maybe. those are more, more versatile, so maybe that would be good to switch things up with. Yeah. I saw at Lowe's the other night, they have Yeti like um, wine glasses. Oh, that would be cool because, um, no. you know, more like a toast thing. Cindy, I never seen that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll put yeah. wine in this one, all right? <laughs> they don't have the stem, but they were state. Yeah, I've seen yeah. those. Yeah, they had them at Lowe's the other night. Lowe's, that's funny. Lowe's has, a, yeah, they had a whole display mm -hmm. of types of Yetis. I'll be at Lowe's today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what, do you want to just get, well, I'll just see what kind of is out there. Maybe we even get a variety. Maybe it's better not to get a variety because then people feel like they can choose. Might just be better to just do one, but maybe different colors. <clears throat> so maybe I'll try a Yeti. I don't know. Maybe the wine glass is not a good idea because then are we promoting alcohol? Then do you have to be 21 to enter? <laughs> oh. Just tell me how many you want to do and then we'll figure it out later. Just want to do one? One every day of the week, that week? Imagine a day without water is the... Uh, Here's day. what it looks like. And it comes in all these colors. Can y'all see that or no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can just call it a Yeti tumbler. You can drink anything out of that. They're, yeah, they're called a wine tumbler. Yeah, 10 ounce wine tumbler. I think it's kind of nice because that does look more like you would cheers that and then um you know last year and the year before the campaign was around breweries true so i don't know how you make wine but there's probably water in it <laughs> all right yeah. we'll see yeah, lots of it um and it's only the 25 dollars they're only 25 yeah oh sweet so you why don't we get do a pair the, yeah we'll do we'll do them in pairs i see a boomerang <laughs> yeah um, so we'll do Yeti wine glasses. Do you want to just do a pair of them on the Imagine Day Without Water versus trying to do one each day of the week? 
Make it easy on yourself. One okay. day. One day. All right. We'll buy a pair of Yeti wine glasses and do a one day promotion on social media. <laughs> okay. Um, what else to talk about? Any other? We're on printing and promotional items now. So any other, um, how are you guys doing on printed materials? You probably aren't giving out a lot, so you may not need to restock anytime soon. We do have the water bottle stickers, the seed bookmarks did come in, the skoy cloths, it says sky cloths or skoy cloths. Um, so if you have any needs for materials, just let us know and um, we can get them to you. Um, just need to know in advance to make the arrangements at the office. Um, so moving on to round table. Um, Cindy, do you want to start? And um, our AMI uh, smart meters kicked off this week on Monday. So we, um, they started in Lightfoot area of James City County and or York County and they the plan was to do a hundred the first day they got 66 in so um and then i found out yesterday that our itgis i had just i didn't even formally ask this but i guess i sort of wished it they made a map so that now every single meter that's gone in it tracks it on the map in our service area so we can see where every new meter has been put in that was kind of cool. And then um, I survived my first big 30 inch um, water main break. Water shut off. Uh, it wasn't a break, it had to be shut off to fix some other ones. And, and um, that, that was interesting. I learned a lot. <laughs> it, 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 okay, um, but yeah, that was, that was. Yeah, that was a lot. So till two or three o'clock in the morning. But um, our newsletter is at the printers, our fall newsletter. So I've been busy with that. Lori has taken on a new role. Um, she has a new big management analyst position now. And so one of her first duties was to send out, we have to redo every policy and every SOP for every task that we do. And I love her because all mine were done in Excel and she made them all do in Word. So I get to redo every single one and put them in Word. I love her right now. <laughs> so can you export a document from Excel to Word? Sometimes you can do that. Yeah, she made a form and they have little boxes and everything has to be put inside the boxes. I love her. So I've been working on that. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> So every rain barrel workshop, SOP, the um, water quality guide, SOP. How many do you have? Um, I think I have seven to do at least. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm working on that. That's been keeping me really busy. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I have that and, um, oh, and then a new thing that popped up and it hasn't been approved yet, but my boss wants me to do it and she's working on getting the approvals, but we want to have a video. I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen the Newport News Public Works video and it's like an overview of their whole department and talks about like what they do and Karen self, um, I had to do a classroom, virtual classroom and she showed that video. I had something lame, but she showed that video and it was fabulous. And so it's kind of circulated now. And so they want me to make a professional video of Waterworks. So I'm working on that right now, working with uh, getting quotes for a script writer because I think it all hinges on the script really more than anything else at this point. So, so I'm working on getting quotes and figuring out, I think um, in my mind, the video would start at the source water and then go through to somebody drinking a glass of water and then talk about how all of our employees 
it's going to be for a new employee orientation is what the video will be for but i want it to also be available to be used as recruiting for a position so it'll talk about all the different careers and how they all how your small part makes a big difference in a bigger picture so i'm working on that um it's just a lot going on i mean it's been a whirlwind since i started <laughs> And I think I said it before, but I officially have worked from home longer than I worked in the office. So it's, it's good. What about Norfolk, Rachel? I know you guys have a new video coming out. Anything else new going on? Yeah. I was going to say, Cindy, too, I don't know if you inherited previous scripts, but I have a previous one that was before my time. If that helps, I'll be happy to send it to you. Um, they did the same thing. They had a script production session and then worry about the, the video. So the script seemed to be the anchor to it. Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay. Cause, yeah, because I don't even, I'm not sure myself mm -hmm. every single step yet. Um, yeah, I also hadn't gone through it. So I was so happy when the previous young lady left it for me because I was like, uh, she had the meeting agendas and I was like, oh, this all, you know, perfect timeline. So yeah, I'll send that to you after this call. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome. Um, other than that, right now, what I'm working on is for September, we traditionally do the Star Homes programs. So we just had, we mentioned the um, Star Homes program, both our residential and our employee newsletter. And we're using Linktree this year. So in Norfolk, we promote Lake Star Homes, Base Star Homes, and this year we're including Base Star Business for the first time. Um, and then we're finalizing a social media campaign related to that. I'm trying to convince I want it to be easy, so I pulled all of the water quality, social media, JPEGs that you guys have at Ask HR Green. Um, in the two years I've been here, we've never used them. They're great, so I put them for all of the media campaign. Um, and I'm just working with the team. I like to drive all of our residents to the Ask HR Green website. It's more user friendly. It's interactive. It's it's meant for that purpose. Whereas our city website will just it, it's just not the same. Um, so that's exciting. That's something we're doing a little different this year. Um, other than that, for me, my role has shifted quite a bit in regards to, uh, we're no longer doing education outreach from the utilities department. Um, that will include both my classroom experiences along with like our truck services at this time. Um, so that, you know, in the fall was traditionally a big chunk of my time. So I was just updated yesterday that, we're working on a, a 2021 internal communications campaign. And so um, that'll be very different for us. So that means for me, I'm doing a new website hierarchy for our public facing website along with our intranet. And we just launched Microsoft Teams. So we're, I'm helping to build that as well. So um, my background previous to the city had involved a lot more website development. And now with COVID, I think I mentioned this on the last one too. If anybody has any great resources for invoice management systems or digital signature programs that they've used, um, we're needing to get our website to be able to accept new water accounts, which is two parts. One, they have to upload highly personal information like their social security number. And the second part is they, there's a $20 payment. So I'm working a lot with our IT to find the software that will work with our website to get this and many other things online. Um, some of the other big pushes is uh, new TAP connections. It's a significant monthly income for the utilities department, but we used to take all those payments on site and we haven't been able to do that. So it's been lovely. <laughs> Um, and so that's just where I've been asked to put my energy right now. Um, at the same time, though, we're still, you know, still doing our monthly messaging and our HREBs inserts and stuff like that. But um, I'm just regrouping right now. My, my entire group is regrouping. We've had some larger positions within our department retire and or leave the organization. So um, a lot of our, that's why I love since, uh, Cindy's, um, suggestion about using that for a recruitment video. That's another thing I've been peeing with. How can we build up our recruitment efforts um, right now to be an employer of choice? Um, so yeah, we're kind of in the same boat with that. Um, I will give all credit to my HR specialist because my right hand lady, she has done more hiring during COVID than we did when we were in the building before this. 
And that takes a lot when you're a city group and you have these really structured interviews and ways we do it. Um, so yeah, a little bit different this year, but we're figuring it out. I have some recruitment um, tips for you. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Remember when you used to work for a city? <laughs> I know it's just it's interesting. I don't know. Um, that seems to recruit on its own, but I know that's a problem across the board with all you know public works, public utilities. Just that trades in general are um, lacking in talent. It seems like so. I don't know. Um, hey, what about Suffolk, Tamara? And, any updates from you all? Um, not too many. We're still just um, working along trying to get our um, mobile work order system up and running. We're doing a lot of testing right now. Actually, the go live date has been moved back to October. Um, so <clears throat> that was good because we were originally set to go live right after Labor Day. <laughs> so um, that has been pushed back. But um, other than that, that's our only update we have here in Suffolk. To Rachel's point, does anyone um, do the electronic, like, um, you know, account setup like she was mentioning? I know when I moved back to Chesapeake, the form was online and I did it via email, but um, I don't remember the whole process. Well, Chesapeake's updated the form so that it's secure and people can uh, register uh, online now. Uh, so that is a, a, a recent update that we had to get a secure form. When you're putting personal information out there, you have to be sure that the uh, uh, product is secure. So yes, uh, we, we have done that. You want me to go ahead, Katie, since I'm- Yeah. Yeah, can, you know, yeah okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I've been involved with, um, and I'm passing this on because this, this is a citywide project and you all, you know, you're involved. We're just one department of many. <clears throat> I was in a um, Lean Sigma um, team to uh, get the parameters to design a um, LMS program. Um, the, these would be, this would be a system that would have all of our training. I mean, all, that means every department Fire department and police department are big, heavy trainers, uh, but all the all the city departments under one uh, program, and it would be um, accessible to the employee. Most of the things would be accessible to the employees, so that a lot of the learning could be done um, that way. And uh, just at, just during this COVID thing, we have uh, you, we just the department has put uh, all of our um, classes. This is the utility classes, uh, so they're virtual. And uh, people who are quarantined for the 14 days or whatever, they have a way of staying. Uh, in the paying realm and not having to take leave, which some of them have had to be quarantined twice and they've, they've used up their leave. Um, so all of that now is uh, online and virtual and so they can have a training on uh, as, as a part of their quarantine if they're feeling good. If they're sick, well, obviously, they're not gonna feel like it. But anyway, that's what we've been involved with is LMS program. Uh, with the city and also the, I'm, on a pro, I'm on a team to redesign our website, the city's website. Yay! <laughs> and also to, to, well, it's been up there for about 15 years. I was going to say, it's been about, a long time. That's it's time to, yeah, time to redesign. <laughs> and um, uh, a small project I've asked uh, our director to let me uh, put on our website is a project's page 
where all of our projects will be posted. Uh, there'll be a GIS map and there'll be a description of each of the projects and how much it costs and all that good stuff. We don't have that. A work, public works department does have, and I want, I want that too. So anyway, hopefully that will be approved and I'll be able to try setting that up. So uh, our uh, staff, uh, they're getting tired. We have, uh, we have been able to hire uh, through the COVID. We got permission because we were essential. Any of the, um, employ any of the potential employees that were in progress up to June the 30th, we could process. Then we had to wait for some uh, to the July 1 budget. Uh, but anyway, we have been hiring and uh, that has helped, um, you know, fill out our staff. We were down, uh, I, it's hard to believe, but we were down about 20% of our employees. And um, when you figure if you're down, that means anybody left has got to work three times as hard. <laughs> so uh, that's what Chesapeake's been doing. That's what Jerry's been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Most of it from home. Hey, Jerry, I want to tell you thank you. You did share with me your um, web person who did that form. And what I found out was that our website didn't have the encryption level. And it was a serious oh. package upgrade that at this time, because of budget uh, deficits, that you know, we're not able to move forward with it. And that started me on the, the mission to find a third party service. I also love the video training. Um, that's another thing we've been trying to do. But I love how they offered that to help those employees who are out of time. I think that's just the most sincere thing I've heard recently in our industry. So way to go Chesapeake. Thank you. I'll, uh, it, it's, it's, I can take, I'll send you, I'll send you her name. Yeah. And, and I am on, yeah, okay. We also lost uh, our web, the head of the web mistress department. She died of cancer uh, about a, a month or so ago. So they're, they're busier than a <laughs> one arm paper hanger uh, over there at the IT. But, uh, but I can send you the name of the person who we work with, and she's fantastic. She's, no, she's just fantastic. <laughs> I can't say enough about her. So I'll send that to you. Laura, anything for Virginia Beach? Um, so the biggest thing I'm working on right now is our e-bill redesign. Um, it's finally in the home stretch. It's something that's been on my plate since I started working. Um, we're in the testing phase right now. Who knows how long that'll take though. Every time I get new samples, there's something new wrong. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes, but I think it'll be good. It's much more um, concise and pretty to look at, not as text heavy. Um, and the next, thinking either October or November, we're gonna look into doing a mailing of the fog rack card um, with our bills. Um, and I wanted to check in with you for that. If I'm using the Ask HR Green one, I can just download the file from the site and send it off to print. That's how. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if the one on the site is going to be the print version with like the crop marks and all. Mm -hmm. So um, I can just send that to you after the, right after this, so you have it. Yeah, that would be good. Um, public utilities as a whole are, we're still planning on moving to a semi-permanent building, but that's been pushed back to probably the new year now. Um, it's supposed to be back in March, but it's, um, things happen that will be there for five years, they're telling us now, and that'll be over by Lynn Haven Mall. Um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to check in um, with you guys if you know any tips or tricks on or how you guys are holding public meetings now. Um, I know we had one either last week or the week before that I helped set up and we did it both in person and virtually. But I wanted to see how you guys were handling that with 
social distancing. We actually didn't have anyone show up to the in-person one, so we just gave the presentation in person and people could be virtually, but. Did you do like Facebook Live with it? No, we did it through WebEx um, and sent out the link to Civic Leagues and on Nextdoor. Well, we, ha <clears throat> we haven't had any public meetings, but the city is having virtual um, uh, council meetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they are, um, I, I don't know, it was be public communications that you, you'd have to check with because they, they're the ones that handle that. Gotcha. Yeah, we have to do them for like major projects we're having. Um, so this was for a water tower replacement, but. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, we don't have any major, major proje projects going on right now, but we mm -hmm. would have public uh, public meetings too for that. Gotcha. But public, again, public communications would be our contact for that. So mm -hmm. that's Heath Covey. And um, yeah, Liz, Liz Vaughn and Heath Covey are the go-to people for that. Okay. I would say um, also maybe the schools would be a good one to reach out to because they had tons of public meetings with all of the school reopenings and they seem to have like a lot of speakers and stuff showing up so they really had to like manage the social distancing and stuff. Yeah, so we reached out to the schools for in-person, the schools and the rec centers and neither of them in Virginia Beach at least were renting out. Um, for any sort of meeting, even if it was city related. So we ended up having to do it in the convention center ballroom <laughs> for, for a zero person audience. So that was fun. But <laughs> um, I know for the city of Norfolk, we still, we ha I know what you're saying now, we haven't had to do one virtual. Luckily we haven't had a large scale project, um, but I would assume based they use YouTube still. So it's our official YouTube channel. So it's not as interactive. We haven't gone on to like the Facebook live or anything like that. We've used Facebook live for more like our rec centers or, mm -hmm. you know, stuff that's really um, softer toned, I guess that would be the right way of saying it. But when it's official, I would see them probably um, doing it on YouTube and our communications team would do like a full, you know, camera set up and, and things like that. Um, but that is interesting that you've already had to do one. So it just tells me I need to plan for that. Thank you. Yeah, ideally, I would have liked to just keep it virtual and especially now in hindsight with no one showing up in person. Um, virtual was our plan all along and then someone came in last minute and was like, nope, we need to do it in person too. I was like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, I don't know. It sounds like the engineers are going to want to do them for smaller projects as well just whatever they're working on so i was um, there's a full cdc guideline out there for events we did host a utilities graduation event mm -hmm. and this was already a month ago so it was a little more in the height of the moment and uh, i got to be the bearer of bad news they wanted to like have bubbles to blow and i'm like no, no. <laughs> you know like yeah yeah <laughs> people were you know i i walked through all our walkthroughs for any of our events but mm -hmm. so this one though like the CDC guideline, I'll try to find it and share with you is perfect because it even helped me think of, okay, if you have traffic come in this way, you don't want, like they need to be able to flow and you have to be able to provide a continuous circle. Mm -hmm. And um, like even just serving the donuts, you know, having a designated person to serve them because you don't want to create a hot spot with multiple people touching it. Um, you know, we had to use bottled water, even though burn my soul. Um, <laughs> so, but I definitely had to be the public information person and really lay down the wall. Um, mm -hmm. If you're going to, we had 25 people. I said, they all have to have masks on. One, I can't use any of the photos if no one's properly in PPE. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just, we had to really talk through those things uh, as a group and, and make sure. And the second biggest part was then communicating that to those who were invited. Um, they, you know, they're like, oh, it's just internal, Rachel. I was like, it's internal event at a public setting. Mm -hmm. All I need is a stranger to come by and snap a photo of city employees gathering improperly. So it, it was definitely a, um, you know, I had division heads there and I had to, had to stand my ground. It was my first time coming back to the office too after a few months. They're like, Rachel, go back home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were um, supposed to have our calendar contest ceremony back in May. 
for the winner, like the elementary school winners of the calendar contest we had. And I've been putting that off. I'm like, I don't even want to try to socially distance these elementary school kids and like news comes. I'm like that, like, oof, that scares me. <laughs> so I've been, I've been trying to think on that end too, not just public meetings, but how I can eventually have that ceremony <laughs> with all the families, all the kids, the news crews and keep it distanced. But yeah, no, that was good information. Thank you. And if you could send the CDC, it would be great. Um, but other than that, that's really all, all I had to bring to the group. All right. Um, let's see. So staff reports, we have no big updates to the budget. Um, I don't know if you all had a chance to look at the digital marketing report. I can uh, try and walk through it really quickly. Let's see if I can... Share my screen. All right, can you all see it? Um, all right, so this was for yes. <clears throat> for July, um, we did have um, an increase. We were down, I guess, slightly in June with um, users versus where we were last year. But July was um, a big bump. Of course, July last year was was pretty low in traffic, so that's probably why. Um, you know, we always have a big number of people coming to the site directly. Which oh, hold on, Katie. Yeah, I'm sorry. I see your school schedule for your little man. <laughs> am, I the, am I the only one? <laughs> Oops. It was right up there at first and then it switched. Yeah. I want to go to the applesauce tasting. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling me before I got too far down. Hold on one second. <laughs> I don't know how you do a tasting virtually, but. <laughs> what was it? I haven't even looked at it. Applesauce. 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 Uh, frantically looking at the calendar earlier to make sure that um, Monday was indeed the first day of school. So um, at least I know that. Um, all right, hold on. Where, where did it go? Well, at first red chalk came up, but then, then your calendar, your school calendar came up. So yeah, we all followed at first and then it something happened. Okay. Here we go. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. <laughs> um, so I guess notes on this is year over year visitors. Um, we are up 64%. Um, I will say, I don't know if you um, read through the annual report um, in its entirety or not, but um, our like search traffic um, for our paid search campaigns has continued to be on the increase. We saw a big increase over last year. Um, and a really interesting one was the, um, the lawn care um, search terms were like huge starting in April and in May and in June. Like, I don't know if that is like just a normal trend. It's normally not that high. It hasn't been in the past, but um, so many people were searching it just drove our impressions like way up for those, um, you know, lawn care, landscaping, fertilizer tips, um, native plants was in there too. Our conversion isn't great on those because I think people are looking for landscaping companies or like professional services, not as much just our information, um, but we it, did, it is a big driver of people to the website um, since COVID has been happening. Um, but so in July, there we go. Lawn and garden best practices was our top visited web page um, next to our home page. Um, <clears throat> this is the algae bloom time of year, so people were looking at. I think that's a blog post about algae um, growth in our local waterways. Um, let's see. 
our events and you know typically our recycling topics and disposal um, was up pretty high as well in July. Um, let's see. Other than that, social media, our top um, organic post was, let's see. Um, oh, about a rain barrel workshop. So our stormwater group um, had received a grant from, which one was this? Chesapeake Bay Restoration Fund um, for the past fiscal year to do some rain barrel workshops. We normally we were planning to do two in the fall, last fall and two in the spring. Well, the ones that were scheduled for April obviously were canceled. Um, but in July, so we got an extension on the, on the grant um, and we were able to do those in July. And it was two different approaches. So there were, Hampton held them in person. But instead of having one rain barrel workshop with like 15 people, they split it into two and had eight people at each. Um, so they could spread them out, social distance, and um, obviously they had to follow certain protocols for cleaning and everyone brought their own tools with them and um, kept a mask on and stuff. So they did them in person and then Suffolk did a make and take uh, rain barrel workshop where people who registered paid the $20 got all the supplies and uh, materials to make them but they just scheduled a time to pick them up and take them home to make them there. Um, and obviously they have a video that they could watch um, step by step instructions on how to do it. Um, so they did it more in a virtual like uh, more socially distanced area. So anyway, we were promoting that in July and that was our top um, social media post. Um, this is just looking at our paid social media um, numbers. Unfortunately, like we don't, if we saw anything that we wanted to dive deeper into, we could certainly do that, but not knowing, you know, other than the date that the post ran, um, we don't know based on this, what, what the actual, you know, post was about. Um, so again, if there's anything ever you're looking at, like, you know, here's one, Ask HRN July 9th through 13th. Um, it was one of these, I'm not sure which one, but that had, you know, 572,000 impressions. Um, we could always dive deeper and find information about it if you um, wanted more information, but these were, oh no, I'm sorry, these were all the posts from July. This one, this screen, is the one I was talking about. So this does have the topic. So this is historically since we've been doing the paid social media postings. Um, I, we can't rank them for some reason um, by top performers, but they did highlight like the top 10. So you can see um, what, you know, how they performed. Um, and those are highlighted in blue. And this is top performers based on impressions. So um, let's see. Um, again, this is just looking at social media, um, growth. This is for Instagram, which seven new followers in July. Um, we did the same, um, paid posts that we did in Facebook and then our Google, my business listings. I have to be honest, I'm not um, sure the value of this so much, but they do include it. And um, I think they're noticing a trend of like a declining activity in the Google My Business listing. So I think it, they feel like it's important to be there for especially like the click to call feature when you pull it up in Google search. Um, but I don't think it really is great in terms of promotional return on value, like a value, like there's no cost to doing this. So it's just more information for us to, to look at. But again, numbers are very small here. So um, any questions about any of this? I've asked them to kind of change this um, from what we've looked at before. So we can actually see the post that ran um, so that is a new feature. It's just nice to see, um, you know, especially when we're looking at the, the traffic to see what actually 
uh, was running on Facebook and Instagram uh, for the month of July instead of just seeing the numbers behind it. Just as a reminder, in case you missed anything, I know that you troll our post all the time, but just in case you don't. <laughs> so that's our mark digital marketing report for July. Um, I wanted to mention, um, just remind you about the annual report. Um, I think we received um, just a little bit of feedback, not a lot of edits. So I guess our initial editing round internally was pretty good. So we're working on getting that into a more of a um, formal layout and design with graphics um, to have it out next week um, for an, another final round of review. And then we'll consider that approved after we get any uh, final feedback. Um, so thanks for taking the time to look through it. And uh, if you have any questions about it, uh, let us know. And then I think Rebecca, you already did send out that um, save the date or meeting invitation. It went out for the all hands meeting. One second, bud. Um, September, is it 17th? Yeah, at 10. Yeah. So we'll just be going, you know, we normally would do that in person with all the committees. We'll be doing that um, just through WebEx. Um, like our normal meetings have been going and we'll just go through a presentation, just providing an overview, basically the information, the annual report, um, we'll talk through it, um, look a little bit ahead at the different promotions all of our committees are doing this fiscal year and then any opportunity for collaboration or conversation we can have amongst each other. I'll try and encourage that. I know it's hard in this format with a large group to have great conversation, but Hopefully we'll be able to have some. It'd be nice to just see everyone, even in small little pictures on one screen. Um, our office remains mostly just um, a few staff members and it will be like that through September. We're not sure beyond that yet what the plan is gonna be. Um, some of us will probably be going back in the office. I know once Carson starts school next week, I'll probably be back in the office <clears throat> at least one or two days a week um, but still working remotely um, for a part of it as well. So um, again, if you all need materials, um, you know, just let us know in advance and we can make arrangements to get things available to you. Um, only other thing I wanted to mention is the Recycling Beautification Committee. So you'll learn about this more in the all hands meeting, but it's going to be coming up right after that, the weekend of September 18th and 19th. They're planning um, still to do the Great American Cleanup um, big volunteer outreach event, um, but instead of directing people to some large volunteer events where people will be working together, we're just promoting people to do their own cleanups on those days and report back to us about you know, the results. So reaching out to the business community, um, you know, just local groups to clean your own block basically and um, taking a, a different approach to that this year. So hopefully we'll have, we have had some groups sign up. We want people to register so we know who's doing cleanups and also to ask them to share their results and photos with us afterwards. So if you feel so inspired to lead a cleanup um, in your neighborhood. We'd love to have you join us. Um, and um, you can just sign up online through, if you go to the homepage of Ask HR Green, the, the banner right there is for Great American Cleanup right now. So um, doing that promotion. So you can register right there. Um, and we are trying to provide, <coughs> excuse me, provide supplies for groups who may need them. So like litter grabbers or gloves, you know, if, if folks need them, but really uh, most people have everything they need right at their home um, to do a cleanup on their own. So hopefully that'll be successful. Um, it's definitely a different approach for that event this year, but <clears throat> anything else that I failed to mention, Rebecca? Nothing comes to mind. All right, so our next meeting is the 24th, but we'll be in touch before then because you all are gonna send us great photos and videos to do this Imagine Day Without Water. Thank you, love letter um, promotion. Um, so good luck finding that stuff. And again, if you need help, um, let us know. And if you're taking video, just remember 
to do it this way. Um, and I look forward to seeing how that turns out. When we get the Dropbox link set up, um, I'll have Red Chalk set it up since they'll be collecting all the data. Um, we'll have them do it on their account. Um, we'll send that out to you guys. All right, well, y'all have a great day and a nice weekend, and um, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.